Hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of Kerky Chats. I'm here with my good friend Dean Rutherford. Um, so as you all know, it's been quite a hectic topic on everyone's lips uh, for the past week or two. A uh, very contentious issue really. Um, obviously I'm speaking about the new displacement policy. Tell the truth, it's not that new at all really. Um, it was implemented in 2013. Um, we've been in a bit of a transitional period uh, with the first ripple effect really being at the end of last year. Um, and now we face the same issue this year. Um, obviously a lot of talk going about, um, a lot of options on the table really, and you can see the guys kind of huddling together and trying to find out what the, what the plans are for next year. Um, do you have any take on the matter? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, as you say, Kurti, it's a, it's a big problem at the moment, and mm. um, the residents are really struggling to come to terms with how to handle it, and it's, mm. um, you know, it's tough. No, it definitely is. Um, it's, it's so Tom Cody. Sorry, yeah, I didn't time. So tough. We'll we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Um, luckily for people like Dean or Ike by this, this unfortunate truth, um, there are a lot of areas around campus which are really prime spots to live as a student. Um, if you if you consider the circumstances, um, a lot of good areas around around campus. Um, Ravensmead is one. Um, they've got a new um, a new digs opening there next year. Um, yeah, but. Uh... Could you say you saw that in the newspaper article? Yeah, it was in the article. Which, which newspaper was that exactly? Um, Demand. You think maybe it was Tisson? No. Definitely not, not Tisson. Okay. It was a nighttime edition? Yeah. Okay, might as well. Please don't say Tisson! I haven't heard of that. I didn't know about this new uh, digs going up in Ravensmead, but what an opportunity, eh? Mm. What an absolute opportunity. I mean, I, I, I hear uh, whispers of... Um, Possible bacilli included in that deal as well. As a phone. Just, y yes, that's the one, I think. Yeah. If I'm on call till 5 in the morning, well, no, let, let's be realistic, let's say 2 in the morning. Mm. I mean, I don't want to get out of the hospital and walk to a walk in a dangerous area to get to my bed. I mean, I want to I wanna walk from the hospital, uh, across France and sail up the road to Raymond's Bean and get to my I mean, it's just, yeah. just not like I want to I wanna be safe. So. Uh, yeah, it's really great. It's, yeah, it's really, it's a really great uh, initiative. But I mean, there's always there's always two sides to, to every to every story. Yes, absolutely. When you, you can't forget about the juniors, um, who are not really being affected by by this shifting shifting policy that much. Um, obviously, it's all affecting your futures. But I mean, that that's two or three years um, down, down the line. Yeah. yeah. Um, it will be really interesting for me to see what their opinions are on this matter. Um, but Johnny, what what do you think your plans are for the next year, personally? Um, for me personally, um, my dad has just bought me a nice five-man tent. Um, mm. So I'm thinking of taking that option, pitching it outside on hippo grass, possibly, and uh, taking it from there. What? I'm just pitching a tent on hippo grass. You've got to think a bit further. You can't just yes. really jump into it. Um, there's always this battle mall. Um, also quite a, quite a nice spot if, you, if you're really desperate. Uh, McDonald's has nice bathrooms as well. <laughs> <laughs> if you crunch time, yeah. I guess it's, it's always an option. I mean, you, 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 can't, you can't just look at a couple of things. You have to look at it as a whole. And if, if you're going to only look at a, a, a few options, I mean, you're going you're gonna to miss, mm. you're gonna miss the, the best deal that's out there. No, absolutely. You can't exclude any of those above-mentioned options. The one that appeals to me most is that McDonald's one, mm. particularly since they have that new barbecue burger. Yeah, 30 bucks eh, for for medium, medium. Absolutely, that yes remains two months' favorite. You also, Dean, you were saying um, that you really kind of envy the, the first and second years, the more junior students who you don't have this problem um, or not facing the same problem as the senior students. Yes, absolutely. Um, but I tell you what, I'd rather live in McDonald's than repeat second year again. Definitely. Definitely. No, that's, that's a tough one, Kirky. You know? It really is a tough one, but if you if you take a look at some of the other franchises, I'm talking the Nandos, I'm talking the Debonairs, I'm talking the KFCs. Now let's look at KFC. Which which one would you rather want to be? First of all, oh, the, the, this is actually something I've been thinking about a lot over the past okay. couple of weeks. Um, I'd have to go with Debonairs. Debonairs. Now I want to tell you. I'll tell you which one I'll go with. It's probably the KFC. I'll tell you why. Is because their chicken is clean. And you know why it's clean, Kirtley? It's because they put it on the pavement and they wash it with a hose pipe. Yeah, but that's why they call this three guys too. Um, apparently, these days, if you go to KFC with your own chicken, you actually get 50% off as well. It's quite a, quite a good deal. And do they clean it for you as well? Um, yeah, on the pavement. 
No, you cannot. Yeah. So, is that the streetwise one then? If they no, 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 if you obviously been taking entire chicken, I mean, was it eight pieces to to present? Family box, share box. Yeah. So that's McDonald's share box. Yeah, you can bring your own your own box as well. Okay. No, it's quite for every single fried for you and everything. Streetwise. Streetwise pop or streetwise pop? No, no, pops. Oh, okay. Pops. No, but the pop they make it's very really special. Okay, nice. Special nice. pops, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, guys, we just want to take this opportunity to thank all our fans for tuning in. Um, we know that there's quite a few of you all scattered around the globe. And, uh, yeah, we really appreciate you tuning in to our first episode of Chattabiki Kaki. Um, of course, this we, we really hope that this is going to be an ongoing thing and that uh, we will bring up the latest and greatest topics in uh, Tiger campus, um, or topics on demand. And uh, yeah, we really ask that you uh, click on the link below and subscribe to our channel. And uh, yeah, enjoy the videos that are posted uh, later on in the show. Yeah, just to end off, um, yeah, we're going through a bit of a transitional period as a campus at the moment. Um, but I trust that each Tiger Marty um, will support each other in this, in this time. Um, and yeah, I look forward to a smooth transition into uh, into the future. Yeah, good luck to you all. Cheers. Yeah, I think that. Yes, I didn't see. You mustn't start laughing because you're in this endless cycle. <laughs> Yeah, there are a couple of interesting options really when you look at the environment we find ourselves in. Um, you is opening in um, Ravensby next year as well. <laughs> uh, okay, obviously, you want to stay with your mates. Um, luckily, I was in Ravensby newspapers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just to you. Wow. You know, that's something that really touches my heart, Gertie. It's quite profound, yeah. Wow. And, um, Dean, Moe's less. So, it's an option. I mean, um, what we want, it's not really about where you stay, it's, it's about whether you have a roof over your head or not. And I mean, if you... <laughs> I, I can't! I can't do it! So, yeah. Yeah. do you want to start? Okay. Because fuck it, bro. Okay. <laughs>